just for entertainment factor more than anything else, I wanted to try running Hawks 2 on the AMD Fusion E350 APU. So this is a mini ITX board from Gigabyte featuring the E350, which is both a CPU and a GPU. It is both in one. So I just want to tell you guys right off the bat, okay, so we're only getting about 20 to 30 FPS here. And this is running at very low detail, so you can see the aliasing is fairly evident. We're only running at, oh, shoot, I forget what it is, like 1024 by 600 res or something like that. And all the details are turned down, but the game does run. And uh, for single player, as long as you don't get, you know, too deep into these, too, as long as you get, don't get too close to the landscape, uh, it may actually be functional. Hard to say. Depends. Some people have much lower thresholds than others. I personally wouldn't be able to play it at this kind of a frame rate, but uh, it looked a little bit better before near the beginning. I guess now uh, we're probably running into a more CPU bottlenecked kind of scenario than GPU based on all of the planes falling apart, all the effects that are going on. So, um, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it at full details uh, just to see what kind of a performance difference we actually see. But first, I'll get you guys the overall benchmark score here. So here's the overall benchmark score, running everything on low at the lowest possible res supported by the game and widescreen and all that good stuff. So I'll be back in a moment with my full quality DirectX 11 results. So just for fun, I decided to see you know, for, forgetting about playable settings on the E350 AMD's Fusion APU, I decided for giggles I was going to turn the details up, run this baby at 1080p with tessellation on, no anti-aliasing, but everything else set to high to see what kind of results we can get in a legitimate DirectX 11 game at HD resolution supporting the latest DX11 features like, say for example, heavy tessellation that uh, we have going on in this game. So we were able to achieve eight FPS average, which unfortunately isn't really playable, but you wouldn't be expecting to run an E350 Fusion APU at 1080p with the highest details in the latest games anyway. So I thought this was an interesting experiment and thank you for checking out my video on Hawks 2 Gaming on the E350 APU.